Been playing a little while. Two and a half hours? Uh, probably more two hours. Lost to the wind. It's alright. That's what you call fucked. What is this? Wow. What a mansion. What a mansion. <laughs> Callie's like Wesker, where's Chris? <gasps> Stop it. Don't open that door. But Chris That's is the way it is. It's no joke if you don't save. I wasn't expecting two hunters to be there. I should have. I should have known. And I got caught in between them like a fucking idiot. And I should have had my grenade launcher. Okay. Let me. Because the grenade launchers with the hunters is what you're supposed to do. Stay alert. Where is Whiskers? I almost feel like I want to do Chris's fucking thing, just to do Chris instead, but... A dining room. Stop it, don't open that door. Ventral Brick's back with the new logo, I like it. What? What is this? What is it? Blood. Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. What is it? What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Ba boom. Wesker. Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall. Let's see here. My first experiences with Ari was going to a neighbor's house playing Ari and didn't know how to aim and died in the first zombie. The zombie reveal creeped me out. Yeah, it was iconic. Between that and the dogs. Find anything, Jill? Beauty of old games are unforgiving. Oh yeah. Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay, I'll try the door on the. Yeah, I, I don't even know if I'll be going to Metallica to be honest, just because of, like, how expensive they'll probably be by the time you know, like they're probably all sold out and stuff. As much as I would like to. I already have uh, other event commitments and stuff like that, so. That will probably have to go by the wayside unless Thanks. it's uh Maybe I'll need it. I know, I did go out like a rookie with those hunters. I should I should have had my grenade launcher, man. I should have got rid of it because the acid rounds will put them out immediately. And I should have just I didn't have my grenade launcher. This time. Well, I know face value the Metallica tickets weren't 500, but I'm sure the the resale is. 
but everyone buys them up and then scalpers get them, which is, you know, pretty ridiculous. Because when I saw Metallica, I mean, it was kind of like nosebleeds, but at the link years ago, it wasn't like, you know, super crazy. It's like 35, 40 bucks, you know? But it's because people buy them up. It's not the band setting up those prices because everything's on resale sites, you know? Once Ticketmaster sells out, then that means everything else you see on these Vivid Seats and StubHub, that's not the band's pricing. That's just a bunch of scalpers and stuff. But the problem is that the shitty bot system is like, you know, they they ne never find a way to fix it for all of these bands. And it's, it's really annoying. Um... Because you're at the mercy of Ticketmaster, and Ticketmaster is a piece of shit. So that's the one thing, um, you know, that that sucks about that is because you get so kind of caught up in, you know, you want to see the bands, but at the same time, not at the, you know, they do roll out like, like for example, like uh, there's been bigger bands that I've attended, like someone like Slipknot, right? Those are big bands. They sell out pretty quickly. If you want to get the pit, you know, you're gonna have to get it with pre-sale so I sign up for so what they do which is cool is they actually give people individual uh, pre-sale codes for the fan like stuff that you sign up for so it's free to sign up but it's just like a pre-sale thing so it's a pre-sale code specifically designed for you and that means that when the pre-sale goes up it's not a code that everyone can use it's just for you and that's worked the best because I've always gotten my seats for face value and they've always been like you know yeah, after fees, it's probably, like, the pit is probably about $120, right, at, like, a normal venue. But that's pretty, like, good considering that other places can give you, like, the three or $400 total. But that's all stuff that you can do if you just, you know, sign up for... I know Metallica had a fan thing where you can sign up and, like, get a, a code and stuff. But obviously that time has passed. So it's like now you're kind of fucked if you don't do that, so... Far should have ran like Jenny told him. I know, right? We got him, though. We got him. Barry's bitch ass running. But how about you, Barry? I have this. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Right, Callie? Yes, and that was in uh, uh, that was at the uh, Camden, New Jersey venue where I saw a Slipknot for that price a couple times. And again, I was able to scheme tickets. It's it, it just it's just about knowing if they have a pre-sale thing that will avoid bots. But but like Taylor Swift and like other bullshit that we had to deal with, you see those like instances where they completely sell out uh, because they're dumb and they don't know how to handle the, that amount of people getting tickets. So it's super, it's super fucking annoying. And I would recommend obviously going to the show, but don't get ripped off like that. At least wait until the prices go down. They're always going to go down closer to the show because the scalpers don't want to eat those tickets. They want to sell them and make money. Some will, because if they got, you know, a bunch of dough sitting around, they don't give a fuck. They'll eat it. But most of them want to sell it. So the thing is, is that you got to make sure that, uh, you just got to pull, you got to pull it on the right time and know that, you know, it's not going to be, um, right away that they're going to go down. puppers I would like to see um, I would like to see Metallica again like closer you know yeah even tool tickets were decently priced for the last tour but guess what hockey fan again same thing they tool always sells out all their tickets in like 10 minutes so have to be there at literally 950 you have to have your account already signed in you have to have your card information already in and I was able to scheme them face value. And I think they were probably 
around a buck thirty, I think, a ticket face value, which wasn't bad considering where we were because we were pretty close. So, you know, that was Wells Fargo, and again, they sold out, and they were super jacked up once they sold out. It's just a, it's a shitty it's a shitty it's a shitty fucking system. It always is. Wells Fargo is even crazier because that's not through Ticketmaster, but their website is a piece of shit. So you have to fight their website. So they just they never have good web coding or whatever the fuck is causing these problems, you know. Look at the crows, Callie. Look at their face. <laughs> <laughs> That's Dude, I bought them once they dropped, and I got them for so cheap. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I got I got them face value, uh, which wasn't bad. Um, but I've definitely spent more on a tool ticket when they were sold out before. So I try to not spend more. Uh, you know, when I, when I get caught in those situations where like, you know, I can't get them when they come out. Like, that's how I know I'm already going to be screwing myself, you know? Damn crows. All right. We're not going to attempt to get the shotgun. Fuck it. So fuck it. Right, Callie? Wesker is a ghost in the mansion. It's actually better if you just let go of R1 and then hit it again instead of trying to do L1, I find. The first Fear Inoculum tour, I overpaid because I never seen them before. And it was oh yeah, dude! Both times were just so killer. Both times were just so much, so much fun. Because Wells Fargo is such a great venue, so it's so hard to put like which one, which 2019 or 2022 like show I liked over the other. But I would say that I love the the 2022 show. That was that was a really good time. Liar, lawyer, mirror for you. What's the difference? Last concert I went to was Shine Down, and my boss uh, gave me tickets for free. So I took my stepdaughter to the first concert. That's cool. That's a really good like first concert. You know, it's like um, I've seen Shine Down. I think the one time I saw them was at the MM Barbecue uh, in 2016. Sixteen, because I think this is when uh, Disturbed was headlining, and then Shine Down was co-headlining. They were pretty good. I just remember it was fucking cold, and so uh, you just kind of like stood under the, um, like inside the lobby, and yeah, you just try to stay warm. It was like in May, but it was so cold. I don't know what like. I don't know what was going on. It was just like a cold, rainy day. That's dope you liked it, Dart Isler. Right.
Hell yeah, hockey fans knows. He knows. That's cool, man. I'm happy you guys like going to shows. And we can discuss music too, because a lot of that stuff is all. It all goes hand in hand with the shit that I like, and I collect vinyl and stuff and music, so it all goes together with shit that I like. Dedicate a lot of time to it. <laughs> this is funny. Where'd the babies? The upstairs? Maybe they said, forget it. Fuck. Yeah, that's a bummer. They played with Papa Roach and my stepdaughter loved it. Yeah, Papa Roach I don't think I've ever seen. Going to Spirit Box after the bur burial and intervals at April. So, Darn Isler, it's so funny because I want to see them. Because it's the first headlining tour, Spearbox. But it's the same situation I just said. Sold out and scalpers. So that's one of those shows that, like, if it just happens to be cheap, I will try to go to the Philly show. But I would really like to go with my friends, but I don't know how that's going to play out with the pricing. So, fuck it. <laughs> what? What did you just do? <laughs> Richard, what happened? I know that's why you were really looking at me like that. You said, "This house is dangerous." You don't, you don't like the, you don't like it. I, I saw you looking at it. What kind of demon attacked you? Right. Oh shit. That's not supposed to be like that. <laughs> That's not supposed to be like that. I don't have these on either. Richard, hold on. But I could for dramatic effect. There is serum. I could for dramatic effect. Oh no. I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. I'll go get the serum. Not responding. Spirit Box is awesome. I love Spirit Box. Got a preset, like you said. My favorite venue puts theirs up. That's cool, man. Yeah, see, that's what I should have did. But see, my problem is I just missed out on like knowing that it was like announced and I wasn't able to get a jump on it. Because usually, they'll, you know, when the bands announce it, they're like, all right, pre sale at 10 a.m. on Wednesday. And then I just wasn't, I didn't see it. And then by the time they were on there, I was like, I think they were probably available for a little bit public. Re um, or a public sale before it went to resale, but it is. It's time to get the serum again. It's alright, we're gonna get there even faster this time because I'm revamped on the uh on the energy. And I know where all of the energy stuff is. I know where all the randomized bullshit is. R.I.P. Wayne Static, that's for sure, yeah. I did see Static X with, um, Rob Zombie, and they were really good with the new singer, so. One of these days I'll meet you in a pit. Definitely, man. I definitely think the first time I'll see you is definitely at a show, some of you guys. Static X and Fear Factor are coming through in March or April. Yeah, I, I think... See, that's the problem is, like, I know March is just going to be super busy for me. Um, and I just don't want to... I already got Monster Mania as well, so I got to keep some of the stuff kind of open. Here's the serum, even though you're going to die anyway, every time. That's how it is, VB. That's how it is with Richard, who can't hold on. He can't hold on. Much love and cheers, everybody. Thank you, Nick, with the five super chat. Appreciate that. Uh, 
Etzel Dope is great. He is, even though they don't admit that it's him, but it is Etzel Dope. Rob Zombie Mudvayne Power 5000 was such a great show. That really was. This just makes you want to listen to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Well, that was in the original. In the trailer. Yeah, that show was killer. I went to the Home Dell show for that one, actually, because it worked out for my buddy's schedule. We were going to go to the Camden one in Jersey, but we ended up going to up in Home Dell, which is more like central Jersey. That was the last Rob Zombie show with John 5, like, too, because John 5 went and he's playing with Motley Crue, but I don't know if that's, like, seems to be more of a permanent thing, which sucks, because I, I like John 5 playing with Rob Zombie. As a drummer, Born of Osiris was who I, who I co, who I co. That's a great band, though. Who I co, who I co. I'm just fucking with you. Who I couldn't get enough of. That's what you meant to say. Who I couldn't get enough of. Yeah, crazy ass drumming in that band. Greatest show I've ever been to. It's definitely got to be Tool, uh, for sure. I would say probably the greatest show I've ever been. I mean, because I've seen Tool like six times, so it's like it's so hard to pick like my favorite one. But I think my favorite one is probably on the Fear Inoculum uh, 2022 or 2019, I think, as well. Because 2019 also had a different vibe to it, too, because I was with my friends who, who were seeing them for the first time. Or the second time. One of them saw them for the second time. But to be honest with you, one of my favorite shows ever is probably Rock on the Range 2018 because that was just such a great time. And the fact that Tool closed out that show was fucking phenomenal. And even though it was at a festival setting, there was just a certain vibe that that show had uh, each three nights. So I would say Rock on the Range 2018. Um, and that was the last year it was called Rock on the Range. This year it's called uh, Sonic Temple. Uh, which is what they announced, and it's in May. So. Boom, boom, boom. And that weekend, get this, we had a perfect circle on Friday, along with Break and Benjamin, Alice in Chains. Um, like, so I had a perfect circle and then Tool the same weekend, which is, like, super crazy. Saturday, we had a rain delay, but we still got Stone Sour, Avenged Sevenfold, um, a bunch of other bands during the day, too. My favorite show in recent years was actually Static X and Devil Driver back in 2019, I think. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Yeah, so many, so many great ones that stick out, too. Also, Deftones uh, this year as well. Uh, Roger Waters is also up there too as being one of my favorites uh, when we saw him in Philly. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, recent ones that I saw that were just mind-blowing. Alright, time to put another emblem in. Let's do this. I was able to see the real Pantera before they broke up. That's fucking killer, man.
That is killer. The damn Yankee with the 999 Super Chat. That's an awesome name. Thank you so much for the 999 Super Chat. Appreciate that. Appreciate the Super Chats, guys. As I got set back, but like I said, we're going to get back to where we were in no time, and we'll be back on track. I was kind of like scratching my head a bit with the, uh, you know, arranged version because it's been a while since I played it on arranged, but it's uh, it's all coming back. So, and I will not let go of the grenade launcher when those hunters appear. So, and I will save when I get to. You should just be saving. No, there's still something I must prove to myself. God damn it, I was making it one. No, I don't know. Ray likes Muse and U2. NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. Nice, man. When I saw Tool in 2019, I was probably the greatest concert. Went there with my friends. Everyone was burning up and just vibing. And and the set was just killer. Yeah, that, that's what I was saying. Like That's kind of how I felt about the 2019 show. While I did love the 2022 show, there's just a certain energy with the 2019 show. And that was obviously like Fear Inoculum. Like that was just like the first show since their album came out after like 13 years. So that was such a big, that was definitely a big vibe show. Catatonia. X says he saw back in December. They were great, but there were a band that opened for them called Soen, or Soen, one of the best sounding bands I've ever heard. It sounded incredible. That's cool, man. Let's check that out. Soen, S O E N. Soen. If Dead Space ended at two, I, I wouldn't have been mad. I think a lot of people hated that cliffhanger, you know? My mom loves him, so I took her to the last tour and CKY played too. That was a great set. Dude, that's killer. That's such a killer set. That's cool that she likes them. Yeah, they, they broke up. They were just like, yeah, we're just done, right? They got some hits, you know. I saw Tool in 09 when I worked for a venue as well as Mayhem Festival at the same year. Oh, that's cool, man. <laughs> Never got the serum for him. Completely forgot. So now... Is he dead? No, but you have to go get it. You can't go and like do the, the, the snake fight. He's not dead, though. But that's so funny. We completely ganked him. No, but like sometimes he'll just die. <laughs> but he's not dead. Die. Yeah. It was just that good. They're not overly heavy, but they have a heavy rock progress sound. That's cool. Dragon Ball wanted Dead Space 3 to focus on some new characters. Yeah, I think they were already invested in all that stuff. They were like, we gotta finish it in some weird way in a cliffhanger. Hockey fan says, we need Slayer back in the world. My favorite band, and I've seen them, like, over 15 times. I miss those guys deeply. Damn, man. Yeah, I've never I've never seen them live, but... Again, that'd be really cool to see them at a festival or something like that, even. All the music talk. Hell yeah. It's getting me through having to do this shit again, so... <laughs> Right. <laughs> I can't 
Callie's so pissed. I'm not pissed. I'm tired. <laughs> he said, eh, man. That was the kitty, right? I guess all of them after Jeff. Jeff passed away, unfortunately. They were great, though. Slayer and Ozzy was my first show ever. I was like four years old, too. That's awesome. My first show was Bon Jovi when I was like four. And that was pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Kelly's like, it wasn't cool. It was, I went there to, so I went to a, my first show ever was a Miranda Cosgrove concert. And I went there because I wanted Yikes. to see Grace and Chance open for her. I went there for Grace and Chance to, as an opener, not, I did not go for Miranda Cosgrove. I went for Grace and Chance and I almost met him, but I didn't do that either. Why didn't you do anything you wanted to do? Huh? I wanted to meet him. But fucking that bitch right before I was about to go meet him, the security guy was like, Mine's cut off, like he's gotta go back. And I was like Really? Yeah, bitch. I was so fucking sad. I was thirteen. I was like <gasps> and I, and then he goes, Sorry and he just walks away and I was like Did you stop listening to him after that? Not after that, but a couple years later, yeah. Well, he stopped putting out music for a little while, and then he came Here's out. Here's the serum. Well, you know, Richard, he came out hold later. on. I'll give uh, you a shot now. Music again, again. And I was Jill, like, All right. here's no, my radio. Good. You should keep it. Keep it. I'm. I'm. No, Richard. Jill, be careful. Lucas Sandwich went Gary Holt at Exodus show. He's really cool. That's dope. Damn, that's killer, hockey fan. That's such a good one. And X's first show was Kiss on the first farewell tour in 97 when I was seven. <laughs> saw, a top, saw topless people. It was super cool, though. Skid Row and Ted Nugent. Dude, that's fucking... That's fire. <laughs> that's really cool. Hockey fans all disturbed on the indestructible tour. Chimera, Killswitch, and Lacuna Coil. Like, that is like... I don't remember who opened for Bon Jovi, but I'd have to look at the um, the tour. It was the 2000 Crush tour. As in Crush Soda? No. I don't think it was Crush Soda, but I think it was like, I don't know if it was an album or something that was coming out, you know? Oh. And it had like, you know, I'd have to look at it because it was, they played the Tweeter Center. Tweeter. Which became the, which became the Wachovia, which now is the Wells Fargo. Right? Yes. Now it's Wells Fargo? It's, yeah, it, it was the Wachovia. It was the Tweeter Center, then it was Wachovia Center, and then it was Wells Fargo. Uh, I'm pretty I sure. I remember the Wachovia. I don't remember Tweeter Center. But, but that was probably just before my time. Like, I realized it, you know. Carlos Santana, that's a dope one, right? Sparks is a Static X, Spine Shank, and Immortal. Damn. Like the close calls, right? Grab the dreads of the singer of Shadows Falls. Now that I think of it, gross as shit. Is there anyone in the chat? The 2016 Ozfest meets Notfest weekend with Sabbath played. That was killer. I, I didn't wasn't there for that, but that's fucking awesome. And Barry to the rescue again. I saw Bon Jovi in 2000. It was summer of 2000 in New Jersey. Hockey fan. So maybe someone can look up well, who's the opener. And I think it was at the Tweeter Center, but it, it, I know it's documented somewhere. 
2000. In fact, I remember my dad getting Resident Evil Survivor that same summer because it came out that summer. Barry? 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 The hell about you, fucko? I have this. <laughs> Kelly's like, what is happening? Tired. Oh. Wasn't ready for that. David R's favorite Ari is Survivor. Well, there you go. <laughs> Fuckers. Less than Jake open for Bon Jovi on the Crush Tour. Does that ring a bell? Less than Jake? Wow. That probably that probably was the band. I just don't remember seeing them at all. Like I don't know if my parents even got there, um, you know, early enough for the opener. They probably didn't. They're probably like, oh, we'll just, yeah, we're just gonna go for Bon Jovi. I can already see them doing that. You know, that's crazy. Less than Jake, huh? I wow. Let's see. JK, it's between three and remixes, David R. Anime wants in the remake Survivor. Survivor. Er. My favorite band memory was seeing All That Remains and Kill Switch the next weekend. Damn, that's killer. Isn't that what RE7 is? Yeah, I know, right? Gun Survivor 7. James is a small tiger. Right, Callie? All right, we're ready to uh, rock and roll here. Am I Vincent? I'm Ark. Hi, Mark. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'd like to see Claire and the protagonist of Nine's Dragon Ball. I mean, I'd be down with that. 
but maybe have some other characters as well, you know? Forgot we left this thing just chilling. I was like, where is the last one? And then I'm like, oh yeah. We still got 61 people and 81 likes. Let's get to at least 100 likes. That'd be killer. Look at the crow. As we move on. And we'll almost be caught up. How would I end Ari if I approached to write a story? Hmm. That's a good question, man. I don't know. I definitely think having a, a, a nice farewell reunion with everyone would be appropriate. Even people that might have never met and trying to bring them to, you know, to a good end at that point. But it would be tough because if it would be like the wrap up, you know what I mean? It would almost be like, where, where were they up until that point? It's tough, though. Because it's almost like, you know, if you brought Wesker back finally, that would be a time to do it, you know, is when everything kind of gets wrapped up and it's kind of like a family reunion of sorts from all the way to the bring, begin, you know, bring it all the way back. Maybe get a mansion, s some kind of other replica of a Spencer mansion. I don't know. Go all out with it if you're going to if you're going to do it. And then Ark was never heard from again. Dan Isler saw the biggest crow outside his work yesterday. Yeah, some of the crows can be fucking intimidating. And just like, if that thing was fucking infected with the virus right now, it'd be over. What's up, John Ron? Nick is out with the $5 super chat. Uh, I got to tough myself and get some rest for work. Much love. Thank you so much, Nick, for all the super chats and continue being a supporter of all the channels. Really appreciate that, man. You have a good night and you take care. Have a good day at work tomorrow. I desperately pick up these herbs before the dogs run and attack me, which is what they're doing right now. Bastards. We need to know more about Jake Wesker. I mean, Mueller. Well, I mean... I think... Uh, you know, they, they kind of steered away from that after the, the uh, reception of Six, I guess. And they just don't really want to go back in that direction, it seems. I just want Umbrella back. Franchise hasn't felt the same since they left. Yeah, I mean, they've definitely been trying to fill that hole ever since, even with, like, Tricell and everything that even Wesker continued to do, uh, and then where everything else went with the with Simmons and the family. The snakes again. The snakes are coming down. Fuck these snakes. Umbrella.
Fuck that. Hey, almost there, hockey fan. I'll doubt they'll bring up Simmons and the family. The he says the Illum I mean family. Yeah, I know. That shit was just so bad. Who the Tetsu Corp is? J.K. Simmons could have pulled off irons. Definitely. Pictures of Rebecca Chambers, says Irons. That's what Mr. Patriot said. That's hilarious. In a weird way, he could make a quirky kendo. I know, right? If only they had him in there. <laughs> if only that they try to put him in the movie. nothing in there. All that for nothing. Yay. Key Simmons is Barry. What is this, squirrels? A Miranda and Spencer side story. A Miranda and Spencer love story brought to you by Filler. Fuck that. We're not getting poisoned today. We already did once by the snake. And, uh, no thanks. No thanks. This is not the PlayStation Plus version. I'm playing this on a PS1, actually, so... The one on the PS1 is not a true director's cut. It's still censored, unfortunately, but... Jack Black being buried, Jesus. And if you want to be a teacher's parent, then when you better forget him. Rock got no reason. Rock got no rhymes. Better get me to school on time. This ain't the Rocky. Mm -hmm. 
Kyle Gass is Wesker. I'm not a traitor. School of Rock, my daughter's favorite movie. That is a great movie. That's so funny. That's your daughter's favorite movie, and I'm just singing the final song. He's like, I know this one. I love how PS Plus almost all, has all the Aries except 2 and 3 and OG. I know. It's like, dude, you have this whole service, and you're just... Like, they just put up Siphon Filter 3 on there today, but it's like... Dude, you should have all these PS1 games, like, ready on the rollout. Like, so much to their catalog that they have that they just don't have on there. That was from School of Rock. That's the finale song in School of Rock. Yeah, they got to get the other Resident Evil games on there, man. And if you wanna... I honestly think it's Jack Black's best film. Not sure if there's anything else that could top that. It is one of his best. I love, uh, you know... Pick a Destiny, too. I mean, that's just such a great movie. Nacho Libre. Oh, man. I don't think I ever fully sat down through that one. Do you think RE4 Remake will get VR treatment? It is. They already confirmed they're getting, they're doing it. I'm just nitpicking here, but R1 on PS Plus should have had a trophy slip. It should have, man. Because if Siphon Filter gets it, then that should get it, you know? Exactly. Why can't we just have the OG Aries on the from our PS3 on the PS5? Now they do have a thing where if you do own the PS1 games, they enable you can just install them. But with Resident Evil, they made it different and they locked it behind that PlayStation service. So it is a different one. So they didn't allow allow anyone to re-download that stuff. But if RE2 and 3 get released with no additional upgrades and it's the same PS3 version, hopefully they allow you to re-download them, but who knows, they might just lock it behind the, uh, the paywall. Here we go. Great voice acting again. Dave Grohl is Satan in the Pick of Destiny. Yes, that's fucking awesome. You saved me. mention it. What a monster. I can't believe what the hell is this place anyway? I just can't believe. And if you want to be a teacher's pen, then you better forget him.
Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Check this rip. It's fucking tasty. It was the best song in the world. And we'll steal your soul. Soul. Enrico. We're going to get to him. This time we'll get to him. We got still rocking in here. We still got 63 people in here. 86 likes. Thanks for sticking around. Hit the thumbs up if you haven't yet. Sorry for the... The fucking mistake. That voice and Rico's. And Rico's? track here. sure we're prepared for the hunters. Darren Rattler says, you know what they should have come out with back in the day? Each member of Stars having a book or comic out that told how they joined the team and whatnot. Always was interested. Yeah, that'd be really cool if they they did that. I mean, they did do the comic and the book thing, but it was always just to have different outside stories and you know, um, obviously SD Perry had kind of her own interpretation of stuff too, uh, which was cool to see, you know. Looking forward to Stalker 2. Gotta get a Series X though. Yeah, I know, right? I guess that is uh, coming out on the next gen shit. I haven't seen much on it though, but I also haven't played the first one. The stun lock never gets old here. Yeah. Yeah. All the mechanics. Did you ever do any interviews with SD Perry? Yeah, we did, uh, we did do an interview... Uh, a couple years ago, um, she only wanted to do write, writing uh, answers, responses to our questions, which she did reply to, which was really kind of her, you know. We just never, like, published them because we didn't really know if there was a way to, like, make a video with them and stuff like that. But we did get in touch, which was really cool. It was a broke... It was so broken back in the day, you almost couldn't play the first one. Oh, shit. Well, hopefully this one's better.
All right, now we were pretty much caught up where we were. Wesker. Wesker. Jill, so you're safe. <laughs> That's what so you're I safe. was going to say. Where on earth have you Where been? have you been? You disappeared from the hall all of a sudden. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're, they're locked, locked up. up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay. Where have I'll you go to been? The house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Dead spooters. Instead of the bees. I wonder why they changed that. Wesker shooting bees. I want to grab the ink ribbons in here. I guess they're not in here. Ooh, a well. The spooters. Bazooka time. Gonna have to go to bed to get up for stuff to spark shot. Gone 3 a.m. Would rather stay though. Good night. Good morning. Well, thank you, Sparshot. Thanks for hanging out. They live 4K Steelbook came out today. So awesome. Yeah, I didn't. I did not get that. I didn't get any of the recent Steelbooks yet. But I should get it. Yeah, we'll see, Darnizler. It didn't get good press, that's for sure, so it's probably plays a part in it. Even though some people enjoyed it. I can't save it if it doesn't make the money back. Spawn the dogs, those little pricks.
That's what I should do. I could just do the fucking pause glitch, too. Just gimp them. Fucking assholes. Get fucked. Fucking hunters. Hunter, piece of shit. We're getting our revenge, chat room. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Maybe we gotta go the other way. Ugh. I guess there's no ink ribbon in here. Which one's that? Oh, in that room. Oh, okay. Alright, well, let's see if I can grab it there real quick.
Oh, I think... <laughs> God, I went into the wrong door again. There we go. I did watch the new Last of Us show. Um, didn't really do much for me. I was kind of talking about that earlier, but yeah, it didn't didn't do too much for me. Ah, there it is. Thank you, hockey fan. But I'll try to finish the rest of the show and have like a complete opinion of it, you know. Alright, we're going to save before the snake fight, because he's an asshole. And just so we can get a save on the books here. So now we're save proof. <laughs> All right. Back to this shit. I should have enough grenade launcher rounds to at least fuck them up. And then I have the cult python. Should, should be good. Snake time, part two. This time we gotta fight him. Well, that was a lot easier. Josh says, and heads up with something you already know. It might be wise to save every now and again. It seems to be your kryptonite and not saving and having to start all over. Well, I wouldn't say it's my kryptonite. I don't really think that's happened, like, a lot. Like, it's happened... Especially from the very beginning. I don't think that's happened a lot to me. Where I've like died and had to restart entirely the whole playthrough. Um, have I been set back? Definitely. Uh, sometimes. You know, with like when's the last time I saved or whatever. But I don't remember. Um, I don't remember the last time something like that actually happened. Before, obviously, the, the stream. But I appreciate it. All right. I just wanted to give myself some space with the, um, I think I grabbed the battery and shit. All 
All right, and then we're not going to try to kill Barry, so we'll wait for him. I love how Barry walks in this room. Jill, have you found anything interesting? Yeah, I just fought a big-ass snake. Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a <laughs> rope here. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. <clears throat> Wait. You dropped it. Hey, what's going on? Now oh, I've I done it. it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. Barry? Barry? One second. While he goes, gets the rope. Are you there, Jill? Grab the rope! I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. Sorry. I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill, I found something. Thank you. I'll take this then. I'll take this then. I don't know where he gets a magic rope. Spencer Mansion, you could probably get anything from anywhere. Down we go. Fucker. Try to replenish our healing a little bit. Locked it.
Nemesis says, ah, my favorite lady to hunt down. Don't go dying in that mansion. We need a date of Raccoon City. Maybe this playthrough she'll make it through. Such bullshit how much they put these fucking hunters around. Fucker. Shaw says playing as Jill during Hunter Invasion is is far easier. You already can one hit with the bazooka, but playing as Chris. Oh boy. Only when you get the cold python. Yeah, exactly. Have you streamed our one with the basement meme theme? I think yeah, I did stream that version. It's been a while, but I've I've done it. Back when I probably back when I first did a range, probably maybe twenty sixteen, seventeen, sixteen. I feel like that's more. Doom Book One. There we go. It's one of the medals we need to get to the last part of the game here. First, we gotta get the battery. Battery! Yeah, I know. Donna Christ is definitely something they have to hit on. They got the assets from fucking Exo Primal. They got the RE engine. Let's make it happen. Let's do this thing. Josh says, hey, I'm plans on doing a collab with John when RE4 Remake comes out. Um, we may do something uh, in terms of, I don't know if it's going to be a 24-hour live stream or, or something like that. That hasn't really been discussed yet. Um, but like I said, John's been working on a lot of stuff on his channel with his videos. A lot of VOD content that he's been working on over live streaming. So we'll see. Never say never. And stay down. See if we can. Right, replenish some of our healing, at least a little bit. Yeah. 
Back in the elevator we go. Super zombie. That guy always takes a little bit extra. So always got to be ready for him. Yeah, that zombie can open the door. Just that one specifically. <laughs> Just that one zombie. <sighs> Alright. Let's see if we can make it through this bullshit here. Really sidestep. Fuck you. Are you fucking serious? Well, that's why I save chat room. That's why I save. Uh. I thought the other hunter was the one that jumped out from that spot. <sighs> so pissed off. The hunters always lay down the smackdown on a ranged mode. Yeah, I should do the Pasco this time. You're right, hockey fan. You are right, my friend. Have you found anything interesting? Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check sure, yourself? Sure, I'll do it again. I have a rope here. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. 
Wait. 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 All right, let me grab a water while he grabs that shit. Hey, what's going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait, I'll go and get another rope. Barry? Barry? Are you there, Jill? Grab the rope! I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. Sorry. I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill, I found something. Thank you. I'll take this then. All right. Barry, why do you enter the room only after Joe killed the yawn? You're you're exposed, Barry. I knew it. It was just playing all along. Fuck you. Buddy. Buddy. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you, buddy. Fucking auto MOP, motherfucker. Yeah, the unlock, the, the sun locks are OP. King Shadow, you're right.
<laughs> oh yeah, hockey fan knows. Any theory video on where Barry got the rope? Where he hid during the confrontation with Wesker in front of the elevator? There's there's only one toilet in the mansion. That's true. These things that just keep us up at night for as Resident Evil fans. Sometimes they get one hit, and sometimes they don't. All right. fucking like down the hallway bathroom. I know, right? That's super fucking troll. Whoever designed that, that's an asshole. Alright, since I know there's only an ink ribbon out there, I'll just try to get <coughs> the metal. That we need. The one place this has ropes is the storage chest and the aqua ring. So you really just ran really fast. Just imagine him darting through the mansion hallways. What's up, John? go. I can, at least this way I can use the, the passcode door. It's a lot better. that up. Nice. John's 175 away from 2k. Health-wise, it's been rocky. Well, I hope you've been well, man. I know we haven't had a chance to catch up, but we will. Thank you. 
All right, so we're definitely going to save again. And... Ethan isn't dead. I'm sure. I sure hope he is. <laughs> if I had to hide a giraffe from the government, where would I hide it? Hmm. Yeah, the RE6 logo, right? That's that's the only. It's the only place. I should have saved after I did this bullshit, but it's fine. I'll just save again. SpongeBob SquarePants is in here. What's up, man? Give me the red jewel. All right. And then it's going to be time for the caves briefly and then the laboratory bastard yeah fuck that it's just better to run And we need none of this, so that was a waste. Um... Can't wait for RE3 Remake, honestly, like PS6 era. PS6 era? What the fuck? Fuck off. Yeah, Pat's your back. It's okay, buddy. It's alright. GTA 6 is coming out tomorrow. <laughs> Real question is, where the fuck is this battery? 
in arranged. I'm trying to remember. sad that today's discussions are more about remix or bringing back old IPs maybe it's just me well I think uh, we had something special when we were playing on those other machines and things just uh, didn't get stale and technology was still moving forward you know but it's one of those things where um, I think uh, there's a lot of stuff that may be tiresome for like remakes and, and reboots and stuff like that oh okay John I had to remember where it was in arranged for a second the observatory that's cool because I can pick these up too which I didn't pick up um but yeah I think that we just had you know I, I just think it was just a time because where technology was and where we were in gaming wasn't so advanced and now everything is getting to the point where it's, you know, all looking as good as it can, right? I like how Richard's just gone. He just leaves behind a clip. That's so funny. So like, is Richard going to pop out behind this door? No. But, uh, yeah, so I think that They're trying to, you know, make it as good as it can now because the technology is there. But I've enjoyed most of the remakes and talking about them personally, you know. Fuck, I might need a lighter. Fuck it, need a lighter. Uh, John's got me. What's up? Well, what is in this on arrange mode, I wonder? Come to think of it, but I don't, I, I don't know if it's worth getting the light, dying for the lighter, but maybe because I cleared out most of this hallway. It's in the room next to the library. Re oh shit! So it's so where it's where I got the metal, really? Fuck. I thought I checked that room. Maybe I just didn't see it. I thought there was just a clip and a ink ribbon in that room, but maybe it's on the floor or something. Something stupid. I think I remember this being somewhere dumb on the floor. I just overlooked it like a dummy, but thank you guys. Yeah, because it overlooks the, the courtyard, right? That window. Well, thankfully, all this shit's cleared out, so... We fought the good fight, just to... Not give ourselves the headache. Yeah, you gotta pull the sword out of the body in the DS version. The secret room. Do you think they should give Dino Crisis a modern take? Absolutely. Yep, in the fucking corner, motherfucker. 
And there's an ink ribbon and a clip, but we, we're fine. We don't need that. All right, moving on. I know, so many ports. Super zombie. Actually, no. No, 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 no. Chris Kennedy says, Anthony, you're still, still alive. Johnson, let's get a roll call going. Where's everyone tuning in from tonight? John's tuning in from Jersey, obviously. Both South Jersey. We got to 100 likes in the stream. That's dope. It's cool. We still got 55 people rocking with us at 11. Atlanta. All right. All right, Atlanta. X from Dallas. Andrews Mass, hockey fan. Anime fans from Kansas. Dallas Cowboys is shy boy. Let's see. Crank? Cool. I'm from Ohio originally, but lived in Texas since 2002. All right. Looks at me like, what is that? Oh, we're doing. We're about to go to the caves. I didn't see the knife video yet, John. If I have more about the knife. Well, hell yeah. Is he over there? Yeah, see. 
X doesn't watch football. I couldn't tell you about a thing about the Cowboys, but I'm a big hockey fan, though. The Dallas Stars are doing well this season. There are two knives other than the combat. One looks like a, a dinner knife, and the one looks like a utility knife. I don't think you just pay money to fix your knife. You need materials. Other knives. Don't know how I feel about it yet. I hope infinite durability is unlockable. Interesting. Switching between an assortment of knives. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. go you don't switch the other knives Stack in your inventory as materials. Oh, okay. So they're just meant for different things, basically. It's interesting. Fuck. Fuck it. We're not going to save Chris. Fuck this dude. Infinite knife equals infinite parries. Do you know what game's going to be played, or can you, or can you try the suffering? It's like Silent Hill. I've uh, I've never <clears throat> fully played through the suffering, but I'd be something to play. I like them to bring back the OG characters. For sure. Disable automatic closed caption if you aren't going to upload your own. Okay. Yeah, this is not something I never did, I guess. Something I never checked off. So that's, a, so that's part of the reason why a lot of the bullshit's going on. Well, I think it's it's probably more it's probably more than just that, but I'm sure that doesn't help. You know, there's definitely a lot more dumb shit that. Appreciate that, Sean. Thanks for being here. But you know, I appreciate it. I mean. Shit's stupid, to say the least.
I mean, that should just be a setting I could just turn off, like, automatically, right? Like, it shouldn't have to be something more... I don't even know where you would go to turn that off. Yeah, we're gonna finish this thing. in the shit. Jill, what good timing. A moment ago, I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. Okay, let's go. Okay, then I'm gonna cover you. Let's hurry. Hey, are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. Sure, Barry, go first. Oh, yes, please. I'm a little nervous. I understand. It may be more dangerous if you come behind me. Be careful. I want to get Barry killed. No, I'm kidding. We didn't do that. Yeah, see, Barry can shoot him out of midair. That was too close. Let's go together. Okay, let's go. Okay, then I'm gonna cover you. Let's hurry. I like how they used that that was too close from the earlier take. That was too close, and then it just cuts to a different take. What the hell? I love the yeah. Yeah, I've yet to master them jumping in the air, that's for sure. Is that Jill? Jill? RE4 Remake is not Ricos? getting delayed, I don't think. Yeah. yeah. Wait there. Are you with anybody, Jill? What? Oh, yes. Enrico. So, Barry and Jill together. Are you all right, Enrico? The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Huh? Oh. Oh. Enrico! <laughs> Who could that be?
Give me the crank. Give me the crank. I hope it's slay because I can't afford it right now. Jesus. Fuck that. Fuck that. What's up, Ahmed? Time to rotate. There we go. Finally. As they make you watch all of that. Oh, fuck this. This isn't the beta. This is just a, uh, a pretty much the director's cut from the PS1, just uncut. There is auto-aim on this, but it's a little wonky. Let me hit the, the flesh room action league. Ouch. Takes three shots. Dino Crisis, anyone? Hell yeah. Wait, so what version of the game is this? So essentially, this is the DualShock Director's Cut, the green label from PS1, but with the old music from the original game and uh, not the Director's Cut. Uh, and it has the uncut cutscenes, it has the severed head, that kind of thing. Alright, so we are going to do... Put that back. Put this away. Yeah, it's pretty much like a fan-patched version. But I am playing it on an actual PS1. Which is, you know, just burn it to a disc and fire it up.
It's the entire package of uncut RE, including the beta walls and patch on a real disc. Yeah, that's why it's awesome. I'll grab this guy. My favorite RE game is Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, the original. Alright, and then we have to get... Get this going here. I use the Tony Hacks memory card mod to play burn discs on my PS1. Yeah, the Tony Hacks thing is a really cool thing for people to, you know, to actually just play the shit without having to actually get in their console and mod it, you know? So I know that's a really cool thing that recently, well, not recently, it's been a little while now since it's been out, but in more recent years, it's an easier way if you just have a copy of Tony Hawk. You can play stuff like this, you know what I mean? And play other, any burn copy. I like the Resident Evil animated movies, absolutely. Yeah. They're part of the, the main story, so that's why I like them. I can't bring myself to put RE or Remake above another one. For now on, I rank it as the exact same spot there at number two for your favorite RE game. Okay. That's pretty fair. I mean, it is hard to rank them. But whatever works for you. Top three is RE2, Remake, RE4. Okay. That's a solid top three. Solid. room for my inventory anyway. Go Veronica, then Arthur Nemesis for top five. Okay. Someone told me Village was the most replayable RE game in the franchise. That's crazy. That is not true. X says, it's absolutely crazy how replayable the old RE games are. Remake replaced the original for me, but OG, RE2... And three are timeless. It's pretty cool to hear some of you guys' favorites. Well, for me, my, my file, this isn't on a USB. This is actually on a CD-ROM, so I burn it to a CD because my PS1 can play... Uh, burn stuff. Shout out to Perry. You know, he modded this thing probably 12 years ago at this point.
I mean, if anything, we'll just get another Resident Evil announcement for 9 after RE4, but we'll see. I still want Diner Crisis, though. Oh, me too. I just use a modded file on the memory card. <coughs> oh, that's cool, man. I don't know what happened to Pragmata. They were just like, yeah, we're just going to delay that. No. Touch a sound floated to zero gravity and never saw the game again. Yeah, I don't know. I think they're just like, all right, Resident Evil. It's like, that's it. Bio has it all. X says OGR2 Remake 3. Code Veronica 5, probably my top five. They move around. Masai says RE2, 4, 5, 7, and 0. All right. Good to hear everyone's top. this ship back. Same day as deep down? What the hell's that? says, Dead Aim, Gaiden, Survivor, and Village are the greatest games ever made. Chris Kennedy says, my top five RE games are RE, Remake, OG RE2, OG RE3, Code Veronica, and RE2. Nice. Dome split. Darnos says RE2 original remake, RE2 remake, RE3 Nemesis, and RE4 for me. All right. Like it. Head pops, head pops. The attache cases do things. I like how they give you give you more dough. Nice. I never watched any of Scorpion stuff. Verified. Mm 
this have the double tyrant? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Naked. Had I caught no one away still. Look at this naked zombie coming at me with a stick. Mugen doesn't like me yelling. Oh no. Really, Glenn said that? That's crazy. Pyramid Head and then Nemesis. Two heavy hitters right there. There's an amazing PS1 game called Devil Man, but it's only in Japanese. Damn. Well, I could probably get it. I just won't understand it. Devil Man, Devil Man, Devil! Uh, the remote worked on that. You could have just clicked off. I haven't been doing that recently. Fuck, this is for fucking Modisk, mate! You're a fucking diesel! He also said Silent Hill 2 is the scariest horror game ever made. Well, it's a very, it's a very scary game. It's, it's so scary. It's scary! Scary. Like the dark lab! This fucking lab! It's dark! It's scary, Callie. Mm -hmm. The lab is scary. Yeah. Unruly says the OG Dead Space was top tier. That was a great game. But we're going to have to get it locked at 2... Okay. <laughs> uh, I love. I love it. It's great. Yeah, they're always gonna say Kelly instead of Callie. What? The captions, <laughs> the closed captions. That I have to disable on everything now. It's great! It's great! No, you have to turn them off. It's just getting people killed. Yeah, it's getting people killed out there in the streets. That's what gets you demonetized, because captions think you're saying stuff that you're not. Unless you edit them yourselves! Magnum power! Keep Norman Reedus out of Silent Hill. I don't need that fucking hairy-looking motherfucker coming around here, acting like he owns every property. And he's like, "Yeah, I'm Norman Reedus. Why don't you, why don't you like me in Walking Dead? Mm, Boondock Saints, yeah, shit, yeah." <laughs> oh man. The Chimera Suck my dick.
Come on! No! Dick's in the air for the lab. Lay takes number one and number two spots into account. Ari titles are top 50 games of all time. Should be up there. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you. Now I gotta restore the power to the elevator. He said Ocarina. Someone said Ocarina was garbage. Dwayne Johnson's back. Battery. Yeah, it's been activated. Time to get the fuck out of here again. Any original Power Rangers fans in the house? I know they're doing a new show, right? Perry's excited. Jill, I'm still here. Jill, you're here too. You're here too? Yes, you're here too? Look. Look. I lost my way. Let's get going. Let's get going. Awesome elevator sounds. Wesker you did, a did a fine, fine job, job, Barry. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. <sighs> That's why having stars... Take care, John, if you're heading out. So have a good night. Thanks for coming in. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. 
to me, the monsters you mentioned, they mean nothing. nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry. Barry. It's 8:49 a.m. there. Damn. Early morning. Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands. <laughs> Take his Popeye forearms upstairs. So you're going to steal all the research. Darn knows where my stream dead space after this. Nice, man. I'm going to show X is you just as I thought, even though I never voiced any suspicion about Wesker. Oh! oh. Dun -dun. Barry. Sorry, Jill. How is your family? Uh, I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. So it's all been masterminded by Bannon. But it's good that you know that now. All masterminded anyway, by him. Let's get out of this house first. Jill. Yes, what? Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? Well, he was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon, called Tyrant or something. I think. I, I think. Do you think we could see Tyrant now? <laughs> Barry, you're so optimistic. Now? It would look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature run loose. Maybe you're right. Let's Maybe you're then. wrong, Barry. What the fuck? That song is a banger, though. Man in it, man in it, man in it. Where are we? Just a moment. Creature like this really be the ultimate biological weapon? Really? Wesker is a crazy man. Tyrant is not completely. I love that. Wesker is a crazy man. But we can't let it live. That must be the computer for monitoring this creature. You think we see Tyrant now? You still have unopened power inventories from years? That's dope, man. Damn you! Damn you! Slowest aim Barry? ever. I know, right? It's like you're alive. I'm really I'm embarrassed. I was clumsy. Let's get going. Did 
We're gonna have to unlock the... There we go. <laughs> Tyra's trying to tell you about the car's extended warranty. <clears throat> what happened to Wesker? That bastard. Wesker must have set it off. There's not much time left for us. There's not much time left for us. Alright, let's wrap it up, chat room. I'm stuck at aiming and I'm embarrassed. It's morphin' time. You're alive! Resident an evil link time. Siren has a happy sound to it, yeah. Always love this this old school self destruct system. The game has two non canon endings no matter what you do. Yeah, exactly. Like they all don't make it out. That's what they could fix with the remake, you know? Like they remake the first one again. Fuck that. Yeah, Siphon Filter soundtracks is so dope. I gotta play... I was gonna... If I finish this earlier, I was gonna actually play Fire Up 3 on the 5. But, um... I guess I'll just do that later. Another time, perhaps. As I'm right there. Hurry up! <laughs> I'm finally here! It's fucking Brad time! Streets of Raid series. Yeah, they do have really good soundtracks. Damn it. We have only one more step to go. Okay. I'll go. Jill, you try to Oh, well, Darn Isler, if you have I don't know if you have a 5, but if you do, you can just download 3. That's what I've been doing. Like any all the Siphon Filters if I already own them or bought them on the PS3 store, you can download them off of the, the Sony store without having to be on the service, which is kind of cool. I don't know if you have one or not, I forget, but... Otherwise, we're charging 10 bucks, but...
Yeah, if you have one, just go to the store and you can literally download Siphon Filter 1, 2, and 3, man, if you own it. As long as it's just your same PlayStation account. Well, if it's your same account, man, download them. Because <laughs> you can play them. It's cool. They just put out Siphon Filter 3 today. They put out 1 and 2. But again, they, there should be a lot more on the store, but, you know, here we are. That's a whole other subject. And they usually have all off trophies, so you might as well just play the on the new editions and the rewind feature. I have no idea, Axe. Yeah, man, any other PS1 games you have that are on there, you, you should be able to just download. And besides Resident Evil, that's the one they put behind. Resident Evil and Tekken 2, they made where you only have to be signed up for the service to get it. You can't get them individually, which is dumb. And they don't let people that bought Director's Cut previously re-download it. So that's also dumb. Yeah, the rewind feature is nice too. On the side and filters. Fuck. Damn! What an asshole! I mean, I just saved, but what the fuck? <laughs> I literally thought I had time to fucking heal. I just got too cocky. I should have just kept running. Fuck it. Let's finally finish this, Jesus. Very anticlimactic of me, right? Do it live. Now we're fucking decked out, motherfuckers. He just starts tapping his foot. Time to go and finish this once and for all.
He had to use the bathroom. That's why he's been gone for that long. Yeah, he shit himself after he realized he was in the actual shit of it. Do this again and again and again. That's in the third one, I'm at. Come on, you bastard. Ah! Fuck you. Got you. Dipset. Woo. Come on, Brad. Drop it. Joe has to be Amazon. And Jill. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. Done. Now we got the Jill and Barrier ending, so there you go. Apparently the end credits in here, though, does have a problem with copyright, so I'll probably mute out the end credits. That's a GG. Always fun to play director's cut or the true director's cut. Damn, is that what's going on with Jeremy Reiner? That's crazy. That's fucked up, man. Yeah, you gotta go with his best of luck, man. That sucks.
All right, so we have uh, beaten director's cut. Rip everyone except Jill, Barry, and Brad. Exactly. So let me pull up the super chats here. I can jam out to the song, but you guys can't. Sorry. All right, so I want to shout out to the following for the donations. We got uh, Sparkshot, Thunders Productions, Krypto, uh, Krypton Gaming, Nick with the uh, four super chats in total. Uh, thank you so much, Nick. Appreciate that. One being two being ten dollar ones, the other one being uh, two five dollar ones. So thank you, man. VB for the dollar super chat. John Oliva, fellow YouTube member and super chat. The damn Yankee for the nine ninety nine super chat. Uh, and yes, so thank you guys for always supporting continuing being a member as well uh really appreciate that and i will be back uh tomorrow um live streaming uh some resident evil 4 vr uh starting the professional run i was going to try to start that today but i kind of ended up doing this instead which was a lot of fun it was a little bit of a curveball so you guys seem to enjoy it um and yeah so we'll just uh, skip that there. And two hours 30, five saves. Not bad. And we got the rocket launcher, which I don't think we got before. So now we'll have the definitive save on here. And that's that, guys. So thank you so much for coming by. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Hit the thumbs up. And uh, check out LTRE on Discord, all the socials. And uh, the Discord, again, is uh, it's, it's been pretty hype in there because of the Resident Evil 4 stuff that's been going on. So definitely join the discussion on there. LTRE.store as well for the merch for Let's Talk Resident Evil. Down below, you can have the, the shop. Some really cool merch on there. And uh, that's about it, guys. Um, I will catch you tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to work on some uh, editing as well during the day. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow around uh, 5 o'clock with some Resident Evil 4 ER. Professional mode this time. All right. So that's it for this.